Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and machine learning. So in this video I will attempt to predict the price of Ethereum using a machine learning algorithm. Now before we begin if you like the videos on this channel then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from this channel hit that bell notification. Now currently I'm on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started writing this code, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, and a new tab open up for you, and then eventually a new cell open up for you. Now before we begin, I need to say that the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice. So be sure to do your own research before making any kind of investment and invest at your own discretion. Okay, so with that being said, in this cell, I'm going to put in some comments. I'm going to put in a description about the program. So I'm just going to type predict the price of Ethereum. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I'm going to import the dependencies. So I'm going to import pandas as pd. I'm going to import numpy as np, then from sklearn.linear underscore model, I'm going to import linear regression. And next from sklearn.model underscore selection, I'm going to import train underscore test underscore split. And then I'm going to click this button here to the left to run the cell. And this will let me know if I made any mistakes. And it looks like I'm good. So I'm going to create a new cell. And now I'm going to load the data. So from google.colab, I'm going to import files. And I'm just going to type files.upload to upload the files. So let's go ahead and run this. Click on choose files. And I'm going to choose this eth.csv file to upload. OK and the file has been uploaded. So let's go ahead and take a look at that file. So here I want to get and show the data. So I'm going to first store the data into a variable. So let's create a variable called df and set it equal to pd.read pd.read underscore csv and then input the name of the file which is eth dot csv and then let's show the data so i'm just going to type df and i'm going to run the cell okay so now we can see this data set and we can see a date column a high price column a low price column an open price column a close price column a volume column and a adjusted close column all right and this data set contains 518 rows of data and of course those seven columns that I just mentioned and the date for these different prices and the volume are from 12-8-2019 to 5-11-2021. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I'm going to talk about the idea or the plan for this small project. So I plan on being able to predict the future price of Ethereum. And of course, I'm going to do this using a machine learning algorithm. So I need to set up a few things first before I can make these predictions. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. OK, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable for predicting end days into the future or in days out into the future okay so I'm, I'm going to call this variable projection and I'm going to set it equal to 14 so now I'm going to look 14 days out into the future and I'm going to create the target column so I'm going to create a column called prediction so let's go ahead and do that now create a, another column or a create a new column called prediction. So 
I'm just going to type DF and then prediction. Okay. And I'm going to set it equal to the close price. So I'm going to use the close price for this prediction. I'm going to try to predict the close price 14 days from whatever date, whatever the current date is. All right. So I'm going to take the current close price and I'm going to shift it. So that's minus projection. Okay. So this prediction column will contain the same close price values, but it's going to be shifted in units up. All right. Pretty understandable. So that means that the last uh, 14 rows of data will contain NAN values, right? Because we don't know what the price will be 14 days from now for those last 14 rows within our data set. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this um, this new column. So we're going to show the data set. So just type DF here. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so now we can see our new column called prediction. And we can see the future close price here. So the idea is to basically create this, this model that will take in the close price like 151.264725 and say 14 days from now, the price will be 132.372513. Or if we were to take this close price, 148.225174, we want to know what the future price will be 14 days from now. Well, it's going to be 128.614090. And that's exactly what the model is going to do. If I come down here, you'll notice that we have our close price values here and we have these NAND values here. And again, that's because we don't know what the future price is going to be because it wasn't in this data set. So we're going to use these last 14 rows to, to try to predict what those future values will be. Okay, so we're going to use those last 14 rows from the close price column to do that. Okay, so hopefully that's understandable. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. All right, so now I need to create the independent independent data set, which is usually notated by X. So I'm going to create a variable called X, and I'm going to set it equal to np.array. I'm going to input df close. And I'm doing this because I need to convert the data frame to a NumPy array. And I think that looks good. So next, I need to remove the last 14 rows of data. And that's because they're all NAND values, right? So we are not going to use them for our model, for creating our model. So I'm going to set x equal to x. And I want all of the rows except for those last 14 rows. All right, and then I'm going to just print X. So let's run this. Okay, and if I scroll down, I shouldn't see any missing values in this data set, and it looks good. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to exit that, and now I'm going to create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to create the dependent data set, usually notated as Y. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called y, and I'm going to set it equal to df prediction because that's our target column. And I'm going to put dot values because I need it to be an array. And now I'm going to get all of the y values except the last 14 rows of data. So I'm going to set y equal to y, and then I'm going to put the colon here, and then minus projection. Okay, 
And then let's go ahead and print Y. So let's run this. Okay, and now we should not have any man values in this data set either, and everything looks good because I didn't see any at the end of this data set. So let's run, or let's create a new cell here. And now let's split the data into 85% training and 15% testing data sets. All right, so let's go ahead and create those variables. So I'm gonna create x underscore train, x underscore test, y underscore train, and y underscore test. So these variables will contain the training and testing data sets, or the testing and training data. These are the testing and, and training data sets, okay? So I'm gonna set this equal to train underscore test underscore split. And we're going to input our X and our Y. So again, that's our independent data set X and our dependent data set Y. And then I'm going to give this a test size. So I'm going to set the test size equal to 0.15, which is 15%. And let's run this. All right, so let's create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create and train the model. So I'm going to create a variable called lin reg, and I'm going to set it equal to linear regression. And then I'm going to train the model. So to do that, I just type lin reg dot fit, and fit is another name for a train. And then I'm going to train it with the training data set. So I'm going to input x underscore train and y underscore train. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it's done. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I want to test, test a model using score, which returns the coefficient of determination R squared of the prediction. And R squared coefficient of determination is a statistical measure of how well the regression predictions approximate the real data points. Okay, and the best possible score is 1.0. So let's go ahead and create a variable called lin reg underscore confidence. And I'm gonna set this equal to lin reg dot score. And we're going to test the model on the testing data sets. So I'm just gonna put x underscore test and y underscore test. All right, and let's go ahead and print that score. So I'm gonna print linear regression confidence. And then I'm going to put in lin reg underscore confidence. That's what I want to print. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, and we can see that we get back a score of 0.953531 well, you can see all the rest of these numbers here. And that's pretty good. So again, the highest score that you can get is 1.0 and we get 0 0.95. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I'm going to create a variable called x underscore projection. And I'm going to set it equal to the last 14 rows of data from the original data set. Now remember, in the original data set, the last 14 rows of data, um, we did not know what the future price would be for those last 14 rows of data. So now we're going to actually try to predict what those values will be. Okay. So let's give it a try. So I'm just gonna type X underscore projection, and I'm going to set this equal to np.array, and I want the data from the close price column. And I want only the last 14 rows of data, so minus projection, oh, minus 
projection. Okay, and then colon. So now I'm getting the last 14 rows of data. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm just going to print x projection. And let's run this. Okay, and now we can see the last 14 rows of data. We can count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. All right, excellent. So let's create a new cell. And now, now it's time to print the linear regression models predictions for the next 14 days. So I'm going to create a variable called lin reg underscore prediction. I'm going to set this equal to lin reg dot predict. And we're going to input x underscore projection. And let's print the predictions. So that's lin reg underscore prediction. And let's see what our model comes up with. So I'm just going to run this. And there we go. So we can see for the last day in this data set that has this close price of, it looks to be 3,785 point. I'm just going to round this to uh, 85 here. It looks like 14 days from this date, the model predicts that the price will be $4,478 and about, I'm just going to round this, 68 cents. Okay? So that's pretty cool. So that's basically saying, if I go back up to my original data set here, 14 days from this date, the price will be this price here, 4,478.68 rounding. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you want to start investing in crypto, then get $10 worth of Bitcoin by signing up with BlockFi using the link below in the description. And of course, by depositing $100 or more when you first sign up with them. Well, that's basically it, like I said before. So thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.